morning, everybody. My name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. And today we're talking about, is it a good time to buy in Northwest Arkansas? So let's talk about that. But before we begin, if you'd like this video and also subscribe, and also subscribe, that'll make the world a difference. I try to produce as much content as humanly possible about Northwest Arkansas. Also, if you are thinking about moving down here, I have a three-day itinerary linked below. So maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you have kids, maybe your site's here, I don't know. But there's a three-day itinerary link down below for you. So go ahead and download it and use it when you get down here. All right, so I wanna preface this little talk. Uh, this is specifically talking about Northwest Arkansas, obviously. Not about Austin, not about Portland, not about other places in America. Austin has seen a dramatic reduction of price. A lot of people have left Austin. Obviously their prices were highly inflated. Portland, uh, California, all these ones are, it's its kind of like trickle effect. Some places are hit harder, some places are not hit as hard. Um, but Northwest Arkansas is not nearly hit, hit as hard when it comes to the rate increase over the course of the last couple months. So this leads to the first thing is the fact that home prices have held steady actually increased a little bit in Northwest Arkansas. Now we can talk a, lot, a little bit about that in a little bit part of the video, but just know that the home prices have not decreased at all in Northwest Arkansas. And that's really truly because that home prices were highly affordable and still highly affordable in the area. Secondly, there's such an influx, a healthy influx of people to the area. So it's kind of kept that stability even with the rising interest rate. Now, obviously uh, there's a lot more factors than just interest rates and people moving in here. Like obviously the Northwest Arkansas Council, which is a separate council that sits aside from every city in Northwest Arkansas, they do a good job of cutting the red tape as well as the cities as well, cutting the red tape for builders uh, to build economically and, and quickly and efficiently and safely. And so they've done a really good job with that. So that's part of the factors as well, but there's a lot of other factors that make uh, Northwest Arkansas the home prices steady and also just an influx of people as well as we, as we, as we know. But part of the interesting thing, and this is number two, is the fact that homes are taking a little bit longer to sell. And that's just because it's starting to become more of a buyer's market. Now, what I mean by a buyer's market is not because of the fact, you know, we had this huge swing in the past where it's like, you had to put in, you know, offer within 30 minutes, maybe, you know, give your firstborn son potentially as well. But that was, you know, obviously, you know, many, many months ago, and it wasn't that extreme in Northwest Arkansas at comparison to like the Carolinas or Austin. But we, you know, we swung kind of in the back in the middle now where it's kind of an even dead market where it's kind of almost a little bit more of a buyer's market. And I say that because homes are taking a little bit longer to sell. And so it's be obviously interest rates have a factor to that. And obviously is that kind of season where people have already put their kids in school. There's not as much shuffling around America as much right now. Um, that will change in the spring and summer next year. But at the moment, you know, homes are taking a little longer to sell and it's almost become a little bit of a buyer's market. So we'll talk about some things you can obviously use to your advantage a little bit later in the video, but just know that homes are taking a little bit harder, to hard, longer to sell. Asterisk, if it's a home, that is a good price home in a in an area in Northwest Arkansas, and it's a good floor plan. There's a very high chance it'll sell very quickly. As a seller, if you're pushing the boundaries of what the market can take, your floor plan's a little interesting. Know the fact that it might take a little bit longer to sell because it is becoming more of a buyer's market, and so they are being choosier and pickier because they have the ability to and they have the time frame to. Whereas in the past, you know, if you know you only have an hour and your firstborn child has to go with you for the offer, it's like you know you got to make a decision there and then. Whereas now you have a little bit more of a longer window as a buyer, so they, they may homes with interesting stuff might take a little bit longer to sell. Whoa, whoa! Before we jump on to the next point, I have something brand new called instant home updates. So maybe you're thinking about moving down to Northwest Arkansas and you're using things like realtor.com or zillow.com way too slow way too slow the notifications way too slow so i made something called instant home updates and it does exactly what it sounds like instant home updates wild i know so if you're entering information below obviously if you want to add square footage how many bedrooms uh, bathrooms etc areas you're looking for i'll make sure you don't get you get notified right away with all the homes that are on the market as soon as they hit the market here in northwest arkansas i would hate for you to miss anything around here also every single friday i send out an email uh, kind of keeping up to date with what things going on in northwest arkansas comedians festivals symphony symphony's coming back i'm super excited uh obviously musicians comedians the whole the whole shebang all new businesses moving here all the cool things every single friday i send out an email and so if you want to keep up to date with all things Northwest Arkansas, enter your information below every single Friday. And just a little side note, you might get a little fear of missing out just because it's going to want you to come down here faster, obviously. But I do admit that you'll be the most informed person in Northwest Arkansas when you do get down here. And going back to number two, and this is kind of number three, rates have obviously increased as we are fully aware. We're not a shock to this. And also seasonality has increased as well. Meaning, you know, between, you know, September to 
um, March is an interesting time. And so this is gonna lead into the next part of the conversation, which is, is it a good time to buy in Northwest Arkansas? So between September, like now, or a little before, and also to April, fantastic time to buy in Northwest Arkansas. And the reason being is because if you have the availability to jump ship from where you're coming from and move here, or, 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 or you have the ability to, ability to buy here and keep your house somewhere else, which a lot of my clients have done, this is a great opportunity because you can capitalize on a lot of times the situations of people moving moving around the area have to move. Like usually people don't necessarily want to put their mar their houses on the market in you know December 1st. Not the best time, but if they do, that tells a buyer, it sends signals to the buyer that, hey, something's going on here. This is not a usual time to put the house on the market and it, you can easily capitalize on the situation. So again, if you are looking to move here and you are have the ability to, let's say, purchase a home here, Airbnb it out, rent it out, hold on for a year, definitely do that because between now and also April is a great time to buy because it's just not a huge fast moving market as it was you know a couple months ago, mostly because of seasonality and because of interest rates. So you can do that, highly recommend it. Also, a lot of my clients have used uh, HELOC loans or bridge loans, which basically means that you can obviously loan against your current property to put a down payment on this property. And so there's a lot of different fancy interest rate stuff and also loan mortgages that you can work out with that. Um, but I'll definitely definitely talk to your loan officer about that or contact me and I can definitely connect you in that regard. But just know there's a lot of opportunity out there. If you do own your home uh, in a different state or a different place and you wanna move here, that do, you don't necessarily need to sell it. Um, you know, you can obviously buy here and keep both of them at the same time with the intention to sell yours out there and move here. Also, this is the last point I wanna make. Obviously, ap after April is a great time to buy as well. Um, and not necessarily because of the capitalization of the market, but mostly because of the fact there's a lot more opportunity and, and availability, meaning there's gonna be a lot more homes that might fit your, that tickle your fancy, so to speak, uh, in April, between April and September of next year versus between now and uh, April of, of between this time frame. So just be aware of that, that obviously there's gonna be a lot of homes on the market now, but there's gonna be a lot more homes on the market around April time of next year that might tickle your fancy. So just be aware of that. It's like you might have to be a little bit more patient and a little bit more picky around this time, but know there's opportunity here, but also in the same breath, know that next April, there's a lot more homes in the market, but there will obviously be a little bit more competition by a little bit. I mean, a lot more uh, because obviously there's a huge influx of people moving here, uh, even with the influx of Tyson people and the influx of all these new businesses coming here. Obviously, I have all these videos about new businesses moving here with new jobs. People, you, you know, you know, I don't need to tell you, but just know that uh, between now and then the opportunity, like obviously there's um, a good amount of homes, but not, you might not find your perfect home, but in April, a lot more homes on the market, but you might need to fight a little bit more on that one. You might have to give your first more to that one. We'll see. We never know. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you are thinking about moving down to Northwest Arkansas, download my three-day itinerary link below. Maybe you're an adventurer. Maybe you're a sports person. Maybe you're a sightseer. Maybe you have kids. I don't know. But there's a three-day itinerary link down below for you. So go ahead and download it and use it when you get down here. Also, when you do get down here, I can give you the 10 hour tour so I can kind of show you around, around the whole area. Plus, we can check out some homes for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, let's see you in the next one.